Am I sure I want to start streaming? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. That we're going to be playing this again. Like, seriously, I'm in trouble. <laughs> this is bad, man. This is real bad. Oh, uh, hello, Merc. He's uh, just as uggles. Okay. Hello, Reapers. My name's Seth, and we are back again for some more Roblox Snow Simulator. Oh, gosh. They've done it. They finally added, where is it? The snowmobile, which costs 500000 Ew! That means I have to grind it! I don't want to grind it, dude. That kind of sucks. Like, seriously. Okay, let's summon our gigantic thing. And, I mean, hopefully this doesn't end up taking too long. They have, as far as I've heard, changed it so that snow regrows. Regrows, right? Um, it comes back super duper quick. So it's like apparently really, really easy to actually end up getting enough snow when you have like this vehicle and uh, the other ones. Like if, if we have more than one of these on the map, right? So apparently it's like super duper easy now. We'll see what happens because hopefully we're going to be able to get this real quick because we need 500,000 alone just to get into the next area, let alone like be able to do anything there. Let me uh, get my volume up. Why is there like nothing playing for me on this game? What's happening? Yeah, look at that. Look how quick that snow is regrowing, dude. <laughs> regrowing? I keep saying that, but I don't know how else to... Uh... I don't know how else to say that, right? Like, regrowing snow is just, get out of the way! No, it's mine! Sorry it's been such a long time, by the way, Reapers, since we ended up doing a live stream, not only of just Roblox, but just of anything. Uh, I've been super duper busy, and I, I don't know, I mean, I I'll probably try and have a vlog video that talks about it soon, just because things have been pretty crazy. And for the most part, I'm probably not going to be able to stream as often as I was uh, within the previous weeks. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to do some more streaming uh, than what I did last week. Uh, did I say last week? I meant the last couple weeks. Because I, I was streaming like pretty much every day, right? But now I can only stream every so often. Man alive! It's so slow. I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but we got to fill this bad boy up over and over and over again. So you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to be pay to win. Um, should we get vehicle speed, running speed? Vehicle speed is probably more important, but I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know if I want to spend any Robux because I don't know what's going to happen when we get into the next area. You know, like how many of these items are even going to be useful in that zone? Like this, Icicle Maker. Or a lightsaber. I'm guessing those are specifically for the ice area, right? But otherwise, it's going to take us such a long time to actually get to that new zone. Oh, dude, we could just uh, buy 100,000 money, which I, I can get in like 10 minutes, by the way, for like 50 real-life dollars. No thanks. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no, mixed lava! We're running over him! Blah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, man. So, I, I guess I guess that's just it, folks. You're just going to have to watch me boringly grind more snow just so that we can get into the next zone. Which, I mean, who are we kidding? By this point, we're all still completely addicted to shoveling snow in this game. And it's just... Like, there's something wrong with us. I, I know I just say that every single one of these videos, but it's because it's true. There is something wrong with us if we are having fun doing this. <laughs> Like, seriously. What? Um. Oh, is my description of Roblox different? Yeah, you're right. I should change that. Uh, you're probably talking about maybe my description on my profile in Roblox, which is not like a top priority. But yeah, I gotta change it to say Reapers instead of Dudes and Dudes. So, yep. Oh, I know I'm too addicted. Granted. Granted. Uh, despite the fact that I am very much addicted to this game. Go away, Java. You stupid thing, I didn't ask for you. Thankfully, it didn't show up in the stream. It was like, Java has an update. Who cares? Why update something that's already working? Um, but yeah, I, I actually haven't played this game for a couple weeks. So, it's probably going to end up being a longer stream today. Uh, just so that we can actually, you know, 
get to the new area and actually grind some of the ice and stuff like that. And that that should uh, that should fill my fix for this game, right? Thank you, dude gamer one. He donated two dollars. What a baller! He's gonna help us towards our. Um, <laughs> towards our pay to win Roblox stuff. By the way, uh, Reapers, if you didn't already know, which I'm sure you already do, I've got merch, uh, I've got a store and Robux, so you can buy a couple shirts. Uh, we do have some donation shirts and stuff like that. You can help the cause of me going pay to win in this game because otherwise it's taking money out of my bank account. <laughs> um, I gotta, I gotta really work on like finding, uh, like I gotta get a whole bunch more designs to the Roblox store for sure because I know I only have like two right now Everybody's already got them and thus nobody really cares anymore like people people want new stuff I'm well aware of that. Uh, it's just I gotta try and figure out um, I Don't know. I, I gotta figure out uh, how I can end up getting that done. Did uh, Frosty become gigantic or anything by the way? Like seriously, is he like even bigger? I don't know. We should probably have double vehicle speed. Uh, most likely. And yeah, the slow, uh, or the fog is just because of the fact that it was a blizzard, which isn't really required anymore. Should we get double vehicle speed? That's actually not too expensive, and we're gonna be using the snowmobile, right? So let's do it. Uh, drive twice as fast, which potentially means twice as much snow to gather. Do I gotta respawn this vehicle, or do I gotta get out and get back in? Where's my speed? Thank you. You can toggle your vehicle speed in the settings menu. Oh, okay. It just took five years. Can you please just get in your own vehicle? Stupid! There we go. Yeah! Oh my gosh! It really is double movement speed. Yes! So much more snow! I gotta be real careful. What the? Since when are the quests? Oh, you could change the quest. You could change the quest between uh, snow and ice. That's really cool. Okay. Well, Merck's the group leader, so he's gonna have to, uh, he's gonna have to get to it. He's, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna have to start those quests, right? Dude, you have a problem, why are you playing this game? Yeah, I know, but you have more of a problem, because really, like, who, who is more at fault here? Me for actually playing this game as a guilty pleasure, or you actually watching me play one of the most boring, grindy games of all time? <laughs> like, seriously! Oh my, Nom Nom Kirby, you are an old school baller because he just said my old school quote of Hadouken the like button. I should probably bring that back. I should probably bring that back. E even, you know what, let's just do it right now in this live stream. You should just Hadouken! Just do a nice down forward combo <laughs> towards the like button, right? Because that's going to help me uh, get more Robux. Why has nobody grabbed this present? It's mine. Ooh, extra $300. I'll take that. That's going to help us out. What? I know, it's not really snow anymore. There's just going to end up being the ice area. But, yeah, we're we're technically gathering the snow a lot faster now just because of the fact that we're shoveling so much of, uh, so much of it at once now that we're actually faster. Look at that quest go. Look at that go. Already done. $2,000. Ka-ching! We already got it. <laughs> but we need 500000 Ugh! 10,000 snow from the parking lot on it. I got it. Don't worry. First of all, let's hopefully make this turn. Two times movement speed in a vehicle is great, but come on, man. Give me two times turning speed. Am I right? Like, that's, that's what's really holding us back. Look at how quickly we gathered all that snow, Reapers. Like, oh my gosh. Did you see that? We were already almost full. Don't worry, Mark. I'm coming. I'll, I'll get all of the snow out of that parking lot and like, what do you think? Like five seconds flat? He's already getting, like, look at that percentage. Go. Okay, this is it. Does, does Mark even, I don't think he has the giant vehicle. No, he doesn't have the giant vehicle. Look at this. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Thanks everybody for showing support for the uh, thumbnail of this stream by the way I came up with that the other day I just never got the chance to actually do this live stream and yeah, I'm, I'm actually I, I thought that was a really good thumbnail if I do say so I'm in this game mixed lava. Oh mixed lava. You're here, buddy. Okay, cool I ran you over like two seconds ago. Oh my gosh This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would just because of the fact that uh, We gotta keep beep beep Beep. Like this truck is beautiful, but the fact that we're so fast is making it take like a long time 
Is it pajama day? No, that was, that was just in, um, uh, wait, maybe, wait, what am I thinking? Oh, that, you're thinking because of the hoodie. No, this is not, this is just normal hoodie. It's from Sweden, right? Well, what was, oh man, I looked up the other day some Swedish words because I thought it was hilarious to actually, like, say things in, uh, another language. Because last time we ended up doing a stream, everyone kept telling me, like, uh, desklupe or something was like a word in, I forget if it was Finnish or something. I don't know. But it meant, like, I'm sorry, because that's like a Canadian thing, right? It's just, sorry, instead of saying, excuse me. Blue house on it. No problem. We probably shouldn't have even done that quest that was inside um, That was that was in that parking lot because seriously, dude, what was the point like we didn't end up getting it uh, Fast enough compared to just normal farming of snow, right? <laughs> um, why do you read some of the comments in that voice? Why is it so funny? Oh, well, that's just how you guys are talking, right? Like I'm just doing an accurate interpretation of how you actually sound in real life <laughs> yeah, I do see what you did there, A-Day. He's saying, uh, the thumbnail is real cool. See what I did there? Yeah, I, I like it. Can you collect one million snow? We've already got over a million snow, dude. We're at 1.2 uh, million for our total amount of snow, but I'm just trying to get up to 500,000 monies so that we can end up getting ourselves, look at that 10,000 snow. Look at that. It's an absolute joke now. Like, we're so powerful in this game. Seriously, I love it. Which sucks because we're trying to get to 500k so that we can get to the ice area, right? And then that's gonna suck because from what I've heard, the ice area is, like, completely separate content. Like, it, it's not, like, streamlined to go with, like, the snow stuff that we're using now. It's completely separate where you have to gather, like, a whole new resource, get whole new tools and everything like that. And I don't think it's very pay to win right now, unless that lightsaber, me thinks, is going to end up being used for the ice area, because I don't see how that would end up being used for the snow area, and a lightsaber would just make sense for, you know, like, cutting the ice, right? So, maybe we'll have to buy that. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't care. I am completely pay to win in this game, but hey, there's enough of you supporting that I can actually afford to do so, right? Can we sell the snow to Frosty? Why is he so giant? So in, in the next zone, is there like, like ice Frosty or something, you know, like an ice giant or something evil where he's like, I'm going to destroy the entire world. And maybe, maybe that's the lore. Maybe that's the lore. Like, while we've been selfishly helping Frosty to get more powerful, maybe we were doing it so that we could, you know, fight the Ice Queen. Like, maybe maybe she's going to be, like, attacking Frosty or something, right? Oh my gosh, 5,000 snow from the parking lot? That I will do. That's not going to be a problem. What's your plans for this? Like I said, dude, we're going to be getting 500,000 monies so that we can end up getting our hands on the snowmobile. That's going to be a new snowmobile that you can use to get to the brand new area, baby. So that's going to be really cool. I haven't seen anything about it. You know me, I always stay away from spoilers in pretty much every game that I play to the best of my abilities. And, um... Yeah, I'm probably going to end up just going to that next area and getting my butt kicked. Uh, <laughs> is the Star Wars... Oh, that, yeah, that's actually a good point, Merc. He's saying that the lightsaber might be a Star Wars reference because there's actually a Yeti in the new area. 110%, dude, you're right. That is a Star Wars reference. That's pretty cool. That means we kind of have to get it because I love a lightsaber, dude. Like, seriously, we, we kind of need it. Like... We kind of need it. Are you going to do a Robux giveaway? No, I'm not. We're never going to be able to do that, dude, unfortunately, because of the simple fact that we found out within the last couple streams, I got feedback from the community, you can actually get banned for giving away Robux, so we're never going to end up doing that, unfortunately, sorry to say. <laughs> so what we can potentially end up doing in the future is as I end up having more Robux store items and stuff like that, uh, you know, I could end up having, like, maybe special VIP items that I'll have in a exclusive group and maybe I'll give access to winners uh, uh, of contests and stuff like that uh, I'll give them access to that group like I'll invite them to it that's well into the future though uh, you know even right now like my top priority is I want to have more Roblox store items because we've only got uh, two right now 
I'm still waiting on Dragon to put out the other two, but for some reason he's like, dude, I made you a new shirt and a new pants, and we're gonna, I'm gonna release them on your store when you get to 150,000 subs, instead of just giving me the image so that I can release it when I'm at 150,000 subs, because I don't know if that guy's even still gonna be around by that point, right? Like, who knows, just with how fast and quickly people end up uh, getting off of the channel and kind of new people coming in and everything, so... I mean, I have to try and send him a message after uh, to try and get the actual image files. Plus, if I actually knew what I was doing and could learn how to make some more merch myself, but I, I don't know how to actually do that. This guy is taunting me. He's got the new snowmobile. I want that now. But man, seriously, like I want to have a whole bunch more uh, Robux items for you guys because seriously. Uh, yep, turn on the notification. Notification squad, you're exactly right. Whoops. That was us hitting the brakes. Hydraulics are in this thing, right? But, uh, yeah, we got to go and get our hands on, um, we got to get our hands on some more money here because for some reason I was just about to completely drive by this guy. I don't know how long we were actually full. 336,000. We're almost there. Yes, I know Lol Poke or whatever your username is. He's trying to show it off the fact that he's got that snowmobile dad, uh, dude. Dad? Dad? Oh, my, you guys are my dad. You're watching, right? Don't judge me. Give me approvement. <laughs> that was a weird mess up. I don't know what happened there. Uh, do you have, what? Dragon codes on Xbox. What? There's dragon codes for Robux? You're scaring me. Sorry if I'm spoiling things for you. I can't really keep up to every single one of the comments, sorry to say. So, yeah. Uh, can you collect 1.5 million snow? There's no reason to do that, Jose. We're probably going to just get ourselves up to 500,000 if we just coincidentally get up to 1.5 mil snow. Okay, sure. But we don't need that, dude. Like, we only need to be able to go to the next area. Which, speaking of which, uh, you know what I'm very curious to see? Is, uh, can we actually go to the new area with the pay-to-win snowmobile? So, let's actually go, uh, one more round around the area. Uh, we're gonna sell all the snow that we've got, and then let's try it. I'm overly curious, that 500 Robux vehicle, because that would be really stupid if that thing didn't actually get you into the new area, especially topped with the fact that it operates very, very, very similarly to the snowmobile. So we're going to try that out, because as far as I know, uh, you know, there's not really that many other people that I know playing Robux that actually have that pay-to-win vehicle, so we can check it out for ourselves and see what happens. It's mine! My presence! No one can get it! 470 bucks! I like it. I like it a lot. No, I'm not going to end up doing that, Sly Creeper. Sly Creeper. The, when is the Sly Cooper movie coming out? Like, am I right? Seriously. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure some other guy ended up getting banned for giving away Robux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of other YouTubers actually have been banned for giving away Robux. That's why we're never going to end up doing that for the life of me because I don't want to get banned from Robux, man. Robux? Roblox? Man, it's like such a tongue twister in this game. Alright, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Let's see if that new vehicle ends up working. Merc seems like he's actually buying, or not Merc, uh, that lol whatever guy. Maybe he's actually buying the new snowmobile or something. Alright, let's get ourselves our Batmobile here. Because this thing is absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. Uh, oh, 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 blizzard notification. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. And is this going to end up working for the next area? I don't know. Uh, we'll find out in two seconds flat here. Because first of all, let's just start driving and wait for this blizzard to go away. Because seriously, I don't want to go into the next zone. Oh my gosh, we're ten times faster. Are we gathering snow faster with this vehicle, I wonder? Just because of the simple fact that we're like so fast, dude. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, it's like 200cc in Mario Kart, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't even know where I am anymore. Ah, I'm all turned around. What's happening, dude? Seriously, help me. 75,000 snow from everywhere. Okay, this is clearly not, oh, not an efficient vehicle because I can't tell where I am. We're also flipping out because we're too powerful. We're too fast. Who saw that coming in this new vehicle? Like, seriously, go away, you dumb blizzard. Oh my gosh, this thing is way too quick when we have that double speed, dude. Like, look at this. I've never seen this vehicle malfunction as much as it has been. This is insane. Okay, let's just slow down here. There we go. Please go away. Go away. Stupid blizzard, why do you gotta be here? So is the vehicle area on our left? Yeah, because we got Frosty up in front of us. There we go, perfect timing. All right, let's see. Does this thing actually work to go to the next zone? <gasps> uh, 
I mean, that's complete. That's a complete ripoff, dude. That is so stupid. That's not good at all. Like, way to go, Dev, on that one. Uh, make a pay-to-win vehicle that doesn't work in the new area. Much less any vehicle doesn't work in the new area. Like, man alive. That is so cheap. Like, so many vehicles should, or, or not even the vehicles, but just... So many of these pay-to-win items should just work in the new zone, because that's just so cheap and weird, dude. Like, come on. Completely separate content? That reminds me of another game we've been playing a lot of, right? Trove, I'm looking at you, where they just keep adding new content that's completely separate from the rest of the game. But, hey, whatever, I guess at least it gives us something more to grind, so... Uh, we only have 100,000 more monies to go, and we are slowly getting more money out of all these different quests and stuff like that. Jesse Crest, if you're in the stream, you can just end up uh, following my Roblox uh, account, actually. Uh, I'm not going to be able to friend anybody, sorry to say. Just because of the fact that I get completely destroyed. Like, if I try to manage my friend list, it just is not going to end up happening. Um, do you know how to use the Ender Pearl? What? Is there an Ender Pearl in this game? Is that what you're trying to say? There's a new vehicle that costs 500000 that gets you into the next zone. Yep, that's exactly what we're going for, my dude. That's exactly what we want. We want to try and get that vehicle as soon as possible. You know, we're getting money really, really quick, though. Because how long have we been streaming? For, like, what? A minute or something and we've already got like we, we've already got over 400,000 and we started this stream with zero like I, I pretty much had like 2,000 monies to my name and that was it so it's not too bad it's not too bad at all what um You'd have to search for it. He said he got it from a random Swedish website. Oh, like this hoodie? Yeah, I did. Uh, just, I don't know the specific website or anything like that. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to advertise them by any means. Otherwise, I could probably try and look online uh, and try to see what the website was. But I, I didn't really save it or anything. Yes, oof, squad. Oof, we're back. That sounds like a gorilla sound effect, though, dude. Parking lot, 25,000. I don't know whether or not doing these quests is actually worthwhile, just because of the simple fact that it takes so long to actually gather the snow out of the parking lot. I guess it's not too, too bad, but the fact that we gotta, like, turn around all the time is the biggest issue. So I'm just not even going to bother with that. It does give us a lot of money, though. It is worthwhile. But I don't really care. Um, Jesse is my sis. I made her do the request. Yeah, get her to follow my account instead, dude. Then she can still follow me into games and everything like that. As far as I know, it's the exact same as friending somebody. Uh, but I can't manage friending everybody on Robux anymore, unfortunately. Just a big side effect of being a YouTuber, right? It just isn't going to happen anymore. <laughs> Yep, I love seeing the oof comments. That's good. Spam it out. No, not really. Don't spam it out a little bit. Just just a little bit and then just and then go away, right? It's snowing outside of my house right now. Ooh, yeah, that's uh where do you live? That's kind of scary. Don't actually answer that. That'd be weird if you did. Um <laughs> I'm seeing the oof show up in the chat now. You guys are scaring me. Um uh yes, 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 yes. I'm trying to keep up with the comments here. Um, what is the best thing to sell in, oh, Trove, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be answering any Trove questions while we're doing a Roblox live stream, sorry to say, folks, so we're just gonna be sticking to Roblox stuff specifically, so if you have any tips about this snow so shoveling simulator, I'm all ears, I I'm perfectly fine with getting all that, oh gosh, the oof is coming. It's scaring me. Did we get enough now? Come on, Frosty, you big, ugly idiot. There we go. We got enough. We've got enough Reapers. We can actually afford the snowmobile. Oh, my gosh. And then we get to see what the next area is. I hear it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, like, so terrified to actually go into this zone. All right. Let's check this out. So, snowmobile. 500,000 Roonies. Like, man, alive. Do we want a black one? Do we want a green one? We want to go for a green one because that's my colors, man. Purple and green. That's the way to go. Oh, gosh. The oof is just... Stop it. Stop spamming it out. There's too much. That's, uh, that's your celebration for the fact that... Whoa! I guess because we have double movement speed! Oh, jeez. Uh, this thing actually controls fairly well. Okay, how does this work? Can I even get in here? Can I even... It, bam, we, oh, dude, it's beautiful. We got a whole new zone, a whole new world. What the, I don't, um, what's happening? Ice. I don't want snow quests. I just want ice quests. Oh, great. I don't think Merc is actually, like, in this area, so he can't actually do it. I'm going to leave this group, sorry to say. Let's see what we can collect. 25 cubes from the lake. Okay, I don't know anything about uh, this area 
guys. I know nothing about it. Ice containers? Are you kidding me? You can't make me throw up. We actually have to get ice containers? And all of these cost just normal money, by the way. So, oh, and then they cost ice. It's a completely different resource. I was wondering how they were going to do that. So we have to get another 10 grand in order to actually get the small ice pack. Uh, that kind of sucks. And then 500,000, of course, there's pay to win stuff. I'll probably end up just doing that because why not? The Ice King's head, which is you need to kill the boss a hundred times. If this freak would end up getting on my screen, I could actually see what that is. But that's just not going to end up happening. The fridge, though, should we just buy that? I don't know if we should. I kind of a little bit too addicted to um, buying things out of the cash shop. Okay, let's go check this out. Ooh, we got some new tools. Oh, I like that picture. That's scaring me. And then we've got the shovel, or not the shovel, the saw. It's going off in the corner. 15,000 for the kitchen knife. Maybe we should start at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning and see what ends up happening. So we gotta go back into the area so that we can end up just getting, uh, what was it, 25,000 or something like that. So we gotta do one more big ice run. Huge shovel, ice sledgehammer, the ice pick. Uh, and then suddenly it just jumps up to 300 Robux for the stupid fire sledgehammer. Uh, and then there's gonna be the lightsaber, which... Is that going to end up being better than the sledgehammer, despite the fact that it's cheaper? And then an icicle maker spawns icicles infinitely. Are you kidding me? That's like, okay, that's kind of scary, dude. Like seriously, I uh, don't really know. Uh, cut ice with the knife. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to go back into the other area. See, look, this is why I have the green one, just so that I can actually know what's going on. Um, yeah, let's go back to the other area for two seconds here. Sorry about getting you overly hyped. Oh, because we got we got to get ourselves like 20,000 uh, so that we can end up actually getting ourselves the backpack and the knife. And then I'll probably just end up going pay to win any minute now just because <laughs> because we're going to uh, uh, give up. Right. And then see what those pay to win items end up doing. Plus, I like having the opportunity um, to actually like grab these pay to win items for you guys so that you get to see whether or not they're actually worthwhile or not because I know that uh, your hard-earned Robux is, uh, you know, a lot more hardly earned than myself. That said, I mean, it, are we even going to end up getting enough people watching this stream that uh, we're going to be paying for all of the items that I just bought so far, right? <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what's going on with that. We'll see what's going on with that. What? Is somebody being evil and screaming in the chat or something? You guys can just delete his face. Uh, we got Stratus and Merc in here mod modding the chat, so that's perfect. Thank you for that one, guys. Scythe, can you add me? No, I already told you specifically why I'm not going to be able to add anybody, unfortunately. Ooh, we're going to get double the uh, money from this, right? Why is nobody going for these, like, care package presents? I'm just gonna keep pushing this thing right into that guy. There you go. That's your Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's see. Did we end up gaining enough? 33,000. All right, I'll take it. That should already be enough uh, to actually get ourselves those new tools, right? Oof. Saying your oofs is fine, uh, but don't spam it out with a million zillion letters. Uh, sorry, dude, to say, but let's just check this out. Grab ourselves a snowmobile again. Man alive, the fact that it costs 500000 is ridiculous, and that's that's also pretty crazy, too, because that means that, uh, you know, the fact that it's two separate resources means that we have to come back to the snow area uh, to get our money up, and then on top of that, we also have to go and get ice as a separate resource just so that we can end up getting, um, you know, getting all of this stuff. Like, we're going to have to get all of the money, uh, or, uh, you know, from the other zone so that we can end up coming here and getting all the ice so that we can end up getting more stuff. Which, I mean, that said, it's like considerably cheap, honestly speaking. No, don't store the item. I want to store it. There we go. Kitchen knife. Ah! <laughs> All right, that's kind of weird. Anyways, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Where, where can we actually go? I'm just gonna go up the big beautiful mountain. Is this ice right here? Can we gather this? Is this how this works? Yup, and we're actually- ew. Oh, are you kidding me? This makes me want to throw up. We're only gathering it like one at a time. 
Oh, we need how much ice too? We need like uh, maybe 150, so that's like 150 swings. That's absolutely disgusting. What about that guy? He's at 91, going to 93, 95, 97. Even with that axe, it's going really, really slow, dude. That's insane. Uh, follow me, I will show you where to sell the ice. Oh, okay, so there's gonna be like an ice giant at the top. What the? You spin me right round, baby, right round. What's happening with our vehicle here? I'm just gonna go up ahead. Oh, okay, so there's ice like everywhere, dude. And we also got a guy hanging out down here the mountain guide okay we should probably just uh destroy that guy's face or something i don't know collect 25 ice cubes from the lake specifically okay so we're not actually at the lake man there's a big area here we got lots of ice that we would be gathering around this actually reminds me of the uh lumber tycoon game though um more so than mm, i'm kind of curious to go down that tunnel but i guess we'll go up to the top and see what's what right what's going to end up being up here uh larry hello is this actually an NPC just walking around? Hey, why are you talking to me? Um, what's up with the, all the ice cubes behind you? Oh, those? I own the lake on the top of the mountain, and when it freezes over, I pay people to bring me the ice. Ah, okay. Uh, why? Uh, so, oh, I see. So, I, I already remember seeing this on, like, the, uh, developer's Twitter or something, where you actually, uh, tether ice cubes to your vehicle, and then you kind of drive it across the map or something like that, so maybe that's got to do with, like, maybe we bring the ice cubes all the way back to that guy specifically? What the? What is this? Is this more ice that we can gather? Is it? The, you probably should not steal from the guy you sell your ice to. Okay. Okay, so this mountain hiker here. Sell ice. $54. That's not really that good, dude. Like, uh... <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but it's not really that great either. Jeez Louise. Uh, is there anything else around this area? Well, we're going to end up taking our snowmobile up a little bit further, and then so help me, we should probably end up getting the ice uh, lightsaber, because the gathering tool makes a lot more sense, and then we only need a pay to win for one of the things. I don't see any reason to actually go and get ourselves the refrigerator, or maybe we should. Maybe the, uh, maybe the refrigerator would actually be better just because of the fact that and then we would be able to just stand at ice for like a million zillion years gathering it all right but ooh there's a lot to this area i don't want a blizzard go away you know what i do like how it only shows up for a limited amount of time rather than you having to press okay like you have uh, used to actually do okay this snowmobile is actually stuck we're actually stuck here because this game is so broken. Not this game specifically, just because Roblox is so broken. Where is this ice lake that that freak's talking about? Oh, here's the ice lake. Okay. Can we start gathering this stuff? If we just randomly start swinging? No, that didn't end up doing it. So what about these random houses that are around? This is so creepy and strange, dude. Like, seriously. Uh, the fact that we could actually use that pay-to-win tool to spawn our own ice cubes in is pretty crazy. But, yeah. Uh, I also saw a giant bridge at some other point, right? And then, is this going to be another ice cube right here, by the way? Uh, you probably should not steal from the guy you sell your ice to. Excuse me? But I don't sell to the icy wizard. Is there just that many? Oh, I see. So the way that it works is he just has like so many different uh, NPCs that end up selling, uh, that you can sell the ice to because of the fact that this map is so big, I guess, right? Like that that makes sense. So where was that bridge that I saw? If this blizzard would ever go away, uh, I saw it right. Oh, okay. That was a close one. I mean, not a close one. We actually did fall over, but there's a bridge over there as you can kind of see the silhouette in the background. Wee! I don't know if I like this zone, dude. This is pretty crazy. Oh. Oh my gosh, jeez Louise. <laughs> um, there is a lot of like, there is a lot to this zone. There is a lot to this zone, like seriously. Cowabunga, we actually got an achievable for doing uh, that jump. Okay, so help me, I'm going to at least, we, we gotta get ourselves probably the lightsaber, right? We, we gotta do that. 750 just to get the hatchet. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just uh, skip right on over the weapons here and we'll buy ourselves the lightsaber. I don't really care. Let's just do it. Let's just uh, hurt my wallet. That's perfectly fine. Lightsaber. Yeah. Why is he holding it like that? Vroom. Vroom. Why is he holding it like an idiot? No, seriously. Die, other player. Yes. No, really. Why is he holding it like that? Like, that's scary. Also, oh, we can use it while on our vehicle? That's interesting. So can we lazily do it while we're like this? No, we can't. Okay. How much does it actually gather per swing? Oh, my. Oh, that's more what I'm talking about. 
Oh, that is so, yes, that is well worth it. I am down for that, dude. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is great. I am perfectly satisfied with being uh, paid a win for something like that because look how quickly we end up gathering the ice, dude. Like that is just, we're already full and that's already 100 in the bag. Your backpack is full. So how do we actually do this? What NPC do we sell to? Can we sell to this guy, I wonder? Uh, I would really hope that we could actually sell to this guy. No, it's just talking to him. Welcome to Ice Mountain Base Camp. Are you uh, trekking your way up there? Yeah, sure, I guess so. I'm on my way up right now. Uh, could you take me to the top? What? Absolutely. I will charge you a one-time fee for 200 Robux for unlimited trips to the top of the mountain. Whoa, that is uh, goodbye. That is... Uh that's the worst pay to win I've ever seen. Like, that is absolutely stupid. Where he's, like, purposefully made this area difficult to navigate so that you would spend money to teleport you to the top. Like, <laughs> I do not think so, dude. I do not think so at all. That is absolutely disgusting. Like, seriously? Yes, I know I'm pay to win. Somebody, somebody kill me. Like, I, I can't even believe the fact that I'm pay to win in a game like this. It's gonna be cool to see this ice growing more and more, though. That's, that's gonna be very interesting. So, how much, uh, I, I wonder how much that ice actually grew relatively quick. Why is this vehicle not working? The vehicles are broken. We're actually levitating in the air. Roblox is stupid. They also really desperately need to fix the stupid vehicles in this game. Fix your game, dude! One of the most popular Robux games, and thank goodness they actually update it more often than Jailbreak, am I right? But seriously, the vehicles are so broken, dude. So, so broken. I, I don't know whether or not, like, um... I, I should have double-checked and saw what we actually needed uh, for the next level of backpack. Oh, wow, look at that. We're already full up. We're already full up. That is so, so good. Like, seriously, can we sell from being on our vehicle similar to Frosty? That would be really nice. Can we actually do that? Bloop. There we go. Okay, cool. So we can actually be very, very lazy at this. That's good. That's good. Uh, that means we technically, if we had a little bit more uh, self-control with this character, we could actually uh, just attack it while we were still on the vehicle. I don't want to use his vehicle. What's this? Oh, wow. These are uh, more things to gather ice from. Okay, cool. The lightsaber is just completely overpowered. Like, I can't even believe it. Uh, <laughs> like, seriously. This is absolutely insane. How much ice did we actually need? We're going pretty quick in the ice regard. Like, I can't even believe we're already at, like, over 300. And we're about to be over 400. Let's get to at least 500 before we end up going back down to town. Uh, and then seeing whether or not we can actually afford the next, uh... Why didn't that put my ice up? Oh, I see! The ice only goes up as we gather it. So, it's like... Total ice gathered uh, is kind of the currency, or I, I guess you could say the requirement uh, in order to actually buy a lot of the items from the uh, store. So that's kind of interesting. Let's get to 500 though, at least, like I said. Uh, maybe we can end up just jumping down to the bottom of the mountain here and seeing what's what, but uh, we definitely need to get our hands on a better backpack. I don't know if there's any reason to actually buy the pay to win backpack, just because of the simple fact that we're already, like, you know, using our lightsaber, not to mention, we uh, uh, That was beautiful. I can't believe we ended up landing that. Is there any secrets around this area, by the way? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm curious whether or not, like, he's only selling, like, the refrigerator right now, right? But you know in the future they're going to have some pay-to-win thing where it's, like, uh, buy a backpack that automatically sells stuff or buy a vehicle that automatically sells stuff. Very similar to the snow area. So there's no reason whatsoever for us to end up spending any Robux on one of the earlier backpacks outside of the fact that if you're, like, complete pay-to-win and you want to just do that right off the hop. My gosh, I just completely went in the wrong direction like seriously are you kidding me the absolute worst what uh i just bought the lightsaber and it's purple what how do i do how do i change the lightsaber's color it completely matches your merch and my outfit how do i change the color of the lightsaber can i change it while i'm in the uh store over here let's check that out because that'd be really cool i do not want to have just a normal lightsaber color i want to use the uh other one's color i don't know how you actually did that Maybe, maybe it's just related to your costume or something. I don't know. Or you're talking about the lightsaber in a different game or something. Okay, what do we got here? 350. 
850. Well, we could just skip right up to that one, which would definitely be pretty easy to get. Or we could just go right up to this one right here, which is 25,000 and 1750. I guess we may as well just do that. Where is the Ice King, by the way? How do you actually defeat him? Uh, much less let him show up in the first place. Is he even in the game right now? Huge ice pack. Okay, 1750. I'm pretty confident we can get that today. Like, we're already at 440. We can very, very easily just jump right up to the last backpack because why even bother getting all the other ones? It's just not cost effective enough, uh, especially because we're getting money for delivering the ice, yes, but the fact of the matter is that we're getting ice as the new currency. Like, getting money is not a problem for us whatsoever. So we may as well just get as much ice as we can, skip up to the last level of backpack, and then, I don't know, maybe explore the area and see whether or not we can actually fight the big old boss dude or something, but I don't know if he's actually like in the map or anything. If he is, I have no idea where he is, and I don't know how you actually do anything with it, but we've got a lightsaber, so we're probably going to be able to defeat that guy. Actually, come to think of it, Merc did mention that there was a Yeti in this area, so maybe the boss is actually in the zone. Can you please just get on? There you go. Maybe we could end up going out and uh, destroying his face or something. Uh, if you guys know... I go to the lake and sell to the ice wizard to spawn the boss. Ah, okay, so we'll do that after we get the next tier of backpack. I was just about to ask, how do you actually, uh, you know, somebody to tell me about the boss and stuff like that. So thank you for that one, dude. We'll definitely try that out today, see whether or not we can actually get him to spawn. And hopefully he doesn't end up actually destroying my face, because he's probably going to end up doing that in like two seconds flat. But uh, let's get ourselves that last tier of backpack first, just because it's going to be a lot easier for us to sell the ice to this dude where we just go back and forth back and forth back and forth like this rather than going to the top and it's like you can't mind that ice that's the wizard's ice and it's just like not going to happen can you sell to the mountain hiker dude there we go or do all of these fill up with ice and then it spawns the boss or is it just the ice lake specifically I i'd be very curious to know about that if there's anybody that's an expert when it comes to this game because it seems like the ice is just slowly getting more and more filled up right like seriously so i don't know uh, you only gain ice if you fill your backpack, so you get ice faster if you get a larger backpack, even the second one. Yes, exactly, but you can see we're already at 755 ice, so we only need like a thousand more ice. Uh, it, we're going so quickly that we may as well just skip up to the last tier of backpack. If we didn't use the pay to win item, like the lightsaber, then I would definitely recommend, yeah, you definitely want to go for the era backpacks because it's going to be a very, very slow grind, but the fact that we ended up getting this lightsaber, which I had to get, it's a lightsaber saber dude it's so cool and i don't know why my character's holding it like an idiot but seriously dude this is like going so quickly there's no reason to even bother with the other ice packs uh it's just the ice behind the ice wizard okay so i don't know what the ice is that this dude's trying to uh do right here like is there going to end up being anything for filling up the ice behind this guy or is it just going to be instant space where it's like he's filling up his ice right now and then maybe if we end up leaving the game and coming back he starts back at square one or is it got to do with our overall account or something and it's just you know i, I don't know what are you doing um i'm playing robux uh obviously as everybody is just yelling at you we're playing the snow simulator game oh my gosh we almost oh i was gonna say we're out of ice but nope there's still some ice right over here ice ice Baby! No, seriously. I'm going to steal this from you guys. Like, I'm sorry, you're too weak. <laughs> you're, you're too weak for me. I am a Jedi of the Icy Brigade or something. I don't know. That's weird, dude. It's like we're on Hoth. That's what the lightsaber makes me think of, right? And uh, so help me, we gotta destroy that stupid Yeti. Okay, can I please just sell to you? Hey, stupid. There you go. I wish he would sell a little bit more efficiently, because, man, alive, that is just... Yeah. Um, he's dead inside. Yes, I still love that comment, Mark. You're absolutely right. Uh, don't get our snowmobile stuck. Otherwise, we would have to uh, climb all the way back up. That would be absolutely disgusting. We're running out of ice, though, dude. Oh, it all just respawned. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Good, 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 good. Man alive, this is going so quick, too. I love it. I don't care if I'm pay to win. I don't care if I'm a cheaty McCheat. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm too weak, yes. Uh, especially compared to... Uh, me spending money on this game like seriously there's something wrong with me but hey uh everybody that ended up buying items on my roblox merch store 
thank you to you folks because you made this possible for me to actually get all these items to make an overall more entertaining video, right? Like, I'm perfectly fine with being paid to win in Robux uh, just for the simple fact that it makes these videos more entertaining. I think so anyways because then we all get to kind of see, like, what's what and see clearly that the lightsaber is worthwhile if you actually go for it. I don't think that the sledgehammer is because the sledgehammer does actually work in the snow area as well. You can actually use it for uh, gathering snow both just on the sidewalk and on the street, but I don't know. It's like so slow in the way that it attacks. It's just not really worth it uh, compared to a lot of the air weapons and stuff. And if you're just going to go for like a specific resource like we're doing right here, you may as well. I love that dance. I love that da dance, dude, like of those... Um, Snowmobile, seriously. So it's like you just kind of stick with what works. And we already now know that the lightsaber works. Also, I think that dude actually was just mentioning, hold on, I'm going to get your merch. Which if you do, dude, thank you very much. That that uh, really helps. We also do have the donation shirts. Uh, if you already have the merch, you can end up donating Robux just with the uh, donation shirts. But, I mean, that's just... It's not like I'm recommending it or anything. I'm never condoning the idea of people spending, like, money on little old me. It's just, it, you know, you, you gotta know, and I just want to be clear that it does definitely help out in the videos and stuff like that. So I'm very appreciative to the people that actually do go that extra step uh, to doing stuff like that, right? Ooh, Blizzard, is that going to end up helping with the ice? Ice and snow will regenerate faster. Oh, okay, so they actually changed it straight up so that snow is, or ice is actually generating faster as well. I mean, changed it, uh, it's a new area, right? Can I do song requests and do you play them in the background? No, I do not play songs in the background, sorry to say. Uh, I don't actually have any of that going on because I'm streaming to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And uh, Twitch and YouTube have different licensing than each other. So it's like what song might be okay on Twitch would not necessarily be public domain on YouTube. And YouTube is definitely my top priority as far as content is concerned. So... I don't know. I mean, we could end up playing some background music because of the simple fact that for some weird reason, this game doesn't have any music in this area. Like, what's going on? This game always had background music. I don't understand. Oh, by the way, this is a random side fun fact here, but did you check out that Dragon Ball game on Roblox? I may start a series on that. I'm not exactly sure because it's another big open world crazy area. Maybe once we end up getting done with Sword Burst uh, because Sword Burst is actually pretty close to being done, honestly speaking, just because if you ended up checking out our last video, we skipped right on up to uh, floor seven and all I gotta do is like one more episode of me just going through floor seven, get to the final boss, etc., etc. But enough of that noise because we are right about to get all of the ice that we needed. Look at that. We got that so quickly. Like, seriously, there was no reason whatsoever for us to end up uh, buying any of the other pack packs, like I called. Like I called it, right? Uh, so do we end up going to the right or straight in front of us uh, to actually end up getting to that other zone uh, that's at the base of the mountain or something like that? I'm not exactly sure. Did you play uh, Terraria on YouTube? Yes, I did. I plan to bring it back on the channel sometime soon, but we'll see. Woo! Oh, it is over there. Okay, so, ooh, we actually bounced up. That was really, really, that guy's a ripoff. That was really clutch right there. But yeah, we could actually see the silhouette of Frosty in the other zone uh, that ended it up giving me a nice good uh, semblance of oh this is how you end up getting to this area right not enough money or ice oh we gotta get our money up okay 25,000 no problem I'll be able to get that in one run and then we're gonna be able to get all sorts of ice uh, which is going to potentially end up we're gonna try and fight that Yeti today hopefully I hope it doesn't take like five zillion years to end up actually um, getting to that guy because that's I, I don't know were we able to actually open the store from the other side of the wall because that would be very efficient if we could oh we can okay <laughs> I love Robux man like seriously you can do so many cheaty little things here okay um uh, I thought the Twitch stream would have more people as well. No, not necessarily, dude, because I am a YouTuber first, and, uh, YouTube itself has actually been doing pretty good as far as, uh, just their, uh, streaming stuff is concerned and everything like that. But, uh, you know, I'm always getting streamed to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time anyway, so we should be able to just get this in one run, right? Because we needed, like, 25,000. I think we're already at that. No, we're very, very close, though. So all we got to do is do one run. We'll, we'll just do one run around the area and see what ends up happening. Nice that they ended up adding some more pay-to-win stuff, but man alive, they really, like, 
Come on, dude. We need some other things. We need cool things. I want a backpack that just instant sells the ice or something like that, you know? Not that dumb refrigerator that only holds 2,000. However, uh, I do like the fact that fighting the boss, which is something that you have to do organically, is going to end up being like, uh, you know, you'll be able to fight that boss to get a backpack that's ultimately going to be able to store more than the pay to win backpack, at least for now, because you know they can't resist in uh, <laughs> making making a pay to win item that's going to end up being like super duper mad worth it right okay so this is going to end up doing it for us i don't know why our vehicle keeps on stuttering out uh collect ice cubes from the lake we still got that quest by the way sorry that i left it on my screen this entire time but i'm not exactly sure how to even complete that quest because we went up to the ice lake it just wasn't working so maybe can we actually use this to shovel snow no, I don't know if we can. Uh, actually, I don't know if we can even because of the fact that we don't even have our uh, snow shoveling backpack, right? Uh, we got the ice backpack, so they're two completely different things. So honestly, who knows what's going to happen with that? Like, maybe we could gather snow with the lightsaber, but I don't think so. Look at that guy trying to shovel his way in. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go sell to that stupid wizard that's at the top. Woo! Whoopsie daisy, what am I thinking? We gotta try and buy the backpack. That's exactly what I went over there to do in the first place. What a scrub, like seriously, let's buy this dumb thing and get it over with. That takes our ice too, very interesting. I didn't really know that it was going to end up doing that. So that means that the ice is a currency. I thought it was just a requirement. I didn't know that it was actually an item that you ended up wasting. So all the more reason to just skip up to the highest tier of backpack because otherwise you're just gonna ultimately end up spending more time uh, gathering the ice, right? Like there's no r actual reason to end up doing that outside of the fact that, again, the other tool like you all saw what that was when we used the kitchen knife where we could only end up gathering like one ice at a time. That was absolutely disgusting. Like I, I can't even believe how slow that is. Like that's like starting at tier one for the snow area. And it's like, are they just can't keep doing that with this game where they're gonna just keep adding like, oh, here's a new area and a completely new resource. So you have to start from square one and then end up buying more resources, right? So does this count as the ice lake when we're up at the top here? Nope, it does not. What the? How do you do that? How do you do that? No, seriously, I want to be able to do that. How did he do that? Anybody know what, what, what we're actually doing here? Like, how do we... Oh, my. Uh, people have a whole bunch of snowmobiles up here. Sell ice. Okay. Uh, how do we actually get this guy to spawn? I don't know anything about this area. I don't know how that guy was actually dragging the ice behind him. Like, how do you actually do that is the real question. Because, man, alive. Like, I want, I want to do it myself, too. But I don't know how to actually get a tether on our... Uh, you need a saw for the ice like ah okay thanks for that one stratos so we need to get the saw that kind of sucks because we actually need a lot of ice in order to actually get that thing uh anybody mind telling me just because we're at the top of the mountain what we actually need to get the saw like what do we need ice wise and money wise in order to actually get that so that we can end up uh getting all the ice that we need from the uh, top here uh and then just going down when we actually have the appropriate amount this is going so fast too now by the way like seriously we're gonna be able to get that saw no problem and then do we actually bring down like do we uh mine the ice and break it out of there so that we can end up getting the yeti to spawn or something you guys kept saying that we actually just sell our ice to the ice wizard here uh, and that's going to end up ah yeah it actually did end up growing there okay so maybe that is going to be how the yeti ends up spawning and hopefully he's not going to be a very weird strategy and we're just going to straight up be able to use our lightsaber to wreck his face but i don't know <laughs> uh yeah so using the saw everybody just keeps screaming at me to use the saw so we'll definitely try to do that but i don't know if uh you know the the goal right now is i want to fight the yeti because we have to kill him a hundred times which is absolutely ridiculous like seriously oh my we got a nice ramp right there too we should totally take that we're totally taking that all the way down i don't really care we're going to end up doing that what i just came because the notification squad okay cool notification squad is right um let me guess, that sword thing is a Robux item that Scythe bought. Uh, be quiet, Joe. <laughs> Nobody tell him. This is just an item that I grinded out myself, right? Technically speaking, I mean, we kind of did. Um, 7k ice and 70k money. Really? For the saw? Ooh, that makes me want to, like, hurl, dude. Yikes. Well, we already got 1k ice, so that's not too bad. I should have double running speed, like, yikes. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. 70k money is going to be just... 
one run with our uh, giant vehicle in the other zone and for the ice that's not going to be too big of a problem uh, so long as we end up having enough ice that we can actually gather around this area i got to be using my snowmobile though i have to be using that more often because otherwise i am just going to end up getting my butt kicked um yeah, Twitch is going to end up being faster than what's happen happening on the YouTube stream. That's one disadvantage of YouTube is that they're live streaming stuff. Like, we're, we're pretty much like 40 seconds behind, whereas Twitch is maybe 20 seconds behind what I'm doing, right? Use my VIP server. No, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. That's scary. I mean, I guess it would be nice if I had VIP servers and then fans could end up actually joining these games. But I don't know. There's not really, like, I'm going to get into all of that stuff eventually, folks. That, that's the whole thing. Like, I might end up getting a VIP server on jailbreak just because that's a game where so many people could end up actually playing on it right but as of right now there, there's not really much of a reason for me to end up getting any vip servers on any of these games because i'm just playing them randomly and uh, especially on a game like this where you can only have like what is it like 10 people or something like that like there's just not really much of a point in my eyes uh to actually bother having a vip server on this in particular game okay let's sell the ice to the dumb wizard what the uh okay giant ice boss thing bring him down he's going down i don't know if i'm hurting him am i yeah we're hurting him we're hurting him he's like stealing my life essence he's stealing my life essence ah how do i actually dodge his attacks do we do anything uh, do we just gotta like dance around in circles or something what's happening how do we actually know how much damage we're actually doing to him oh he's doing a weird ground stop oh that would actually cause us damage if we ended up standing in that thing okay and then we gotta watch out for oh i see he's like shooting projectiles okay i don't think so dude I don't think so. This Ice Yeti is going down. We're actually doing like 30 damage. So all the more reason that this weapon is like super duper powerful. He's got like, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. You stupid Ice Yeti. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, you defeated the Ice Yeti. You dealt 80% of the damage, making your reward 7,376. Honestly speaking, who really cares about that? That's one out of a hundred times that we have to actually kill that freak. A hundred times. 100 i just want i just want to be clear about that like that was absolutely insane very cool that they actually have like a raid boss type of thing though that's really really neat so i guess our next goal then is just to keep fighting the stupid yeti at the same time that we're uh trying to get ourselves our stupid uh saw so that we can end up going and getting those ice blocks now i don't know how that's going to end up doing though like are, are we going to end up um you know, like, do do we end up getting more ice by bringing the ice cubes or something like that? Like, is there a trick to that? Can somebody let me know what's the deal? Otherwise, we'll find out soon enough anyways, because we're going to end up getting that uh, right away. Because look at this. We're going, like, so quick. That ice giant's uh, backpack, though, would really be useful. I could see why the pay-to-win backpack would be useful as well. The fact that it's not, like, we jump up from 500 ice storage to 2,000. That's pretty insane, dude. Can you sell the ice? Like, seriously. Oh, my. We're going to be able to fight this guy real quick. Like, seriously, we're going to be able to fight him a couple times um, before we end up even getting that saw, especially if it's 7,000. But, yeah, if we ended up actually getting that other backpack, the refrigerator, uh, so that we could end up storing 2,000, that would be pretty good, dude. That'd be pretty, pretty good, fam. Like, seriously. <laughs> So anyways, um, I guess that's pretty much all there is to this new content then, isn't there? Is we just got to end up getting the shovel so that we can see what the uh, gathering of the ice cubes is going to end up doing. And then Bob's your uncle. I think we're already done. I know that's like a British term that I have absolutely no idea what the definition is of it, but I used it anyways. Oof. Yep. We got we got a nice celebratory oof for defeating that boss. He should actually say oof when you defeat him. It should say oof. You defeated the ice king. Or, or something like that, right? Like, that would be that would be pretty dank if they ended up doing that. Like, Roblox should, uh, you know, acknowledge how, how crazy and broken it is in a lot of ways, which is why we all single-handedly love this game, right? Just because of the fact that it's such a mess. Like, seriously. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Oh, my gosh. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Um, so, it's giant gold ice now for some reason. Is there a reason for that? I wonder if that would be cool if, if you could end up uh, uh, summoning like a stronger Yeti or something, 
rather than just like the normal one and maybe he's like stronger and actually gives you more money or something because I don't know dude like the one thing that I am noticing about this area I guess because ice is like the other currency right is the fact that it's kind of unbalanced just because of the fact that like you know, we're, we're not really getting nearly as much money as the snow area, but I guess in that regard, it's pretty cool because it means that there still is reason to go back and gather snow just because you're still getting more money for that, right? I don't know. Oof. Yep. I like the oof notification squad. That's, that's what it should actually be is the oof notification squad where when uh, a video shows up on YouTube, you should be able to have like a custom sound effect or something. And it's like, everybody just sees oof when someone's playing Roblox. <laughs> I'm not going to play Overwatch ever again. Just check out my comments video. I talk about that in uh, some of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not planning on doing a private server anytime soon. Maybe in the future for sure. Uh, probably not for a game like this because again, we would only be able to play with a handful of people and I'm all about value and quantity. So I could see like on uh, Jailbreak. Where even though I'll acknowledge the fact that the Jailbreak series has not been particularly popular compared to the other Roblox videos, like especially Sword Burst and stuff, but Jailbreak has a lot of appeal to it in that you can play like a lot of people in one game. So that would be something where I could see gain a VIP server on that because then we could actually have like a full group of players and that would that'd be so fun. You know, like we could try and have like everybody in the server try to stop the train or something. I, uh, Merck ended up telling me about another... Um, there was another YouTuber that ended up doing something similar to that, which was really, really cool. I want to give him a code. What code? You mean the Ice Mage actually takes codes or something? What are you talking about, you freak? Unless you're talking about, like, the other backpack. I don't know. Uh, it seems like he's actually talking with somebody else, though. <clears throat> uh, happy, I am happy to try following him. I don't know what you're saying, Enemy Explorer. You're scaring me. Um... I was expecting some Uganda Knuckles. I don't know why. Yeah, dude, Roblox needs Uganda Knuckles in here, dude. Like, seriously? Where is my Knuckles avatar? Like, Roblox should cat uh, capitalize on that. They're usually pretty good for that. Like, the next costume that should come out should be Uganda Knuckles. Because it's public domain. Like, it's not like it's, uh, you know, it's gone beyond the Sonic character. So it's not, like, licensed or anything. And I could see that. A uh, Uganda Knuckles character? That would be so dank. Like, seriously. Thank you, the Pikachu. He actually subscribed on Twitch. Absolutely appreciate it, buddy. Um, how has it been? Well, we're getting there, right? <laughs> we we got to get 7,000 ice, which is absolutely disgusting and vomit-inducing. Uh, and then we got to get, like, 70,000 monies, which that's easy enough to end up doing. But we did end up fighting the Yeti once, if you didn't already check that out. So hopefully we'll be able to fight him again, probably before we end up getting to that 7,000 ice, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Maybe because, oh, maybe not because he actually needs a lot of ice in order to actually summon the boss. Uh, I wonder, is that server side, by the way, because it seems like it could be like nobody's really helping us out with this right now. So I wonder if you had like a whole group of people, could you end up, uh, especially if you had somebody that was even more pay to win than me and actually had the thing that spawns icicles, wouldn't that be overpowered? Because then we could actually have a whole group of people here summoning the Yeti all at once. And we could probably summon him like every five minutes over and over and over again and actually get that new backpack out of the way real quick with a whole group of people. Because otherwise, if you're doing it on your own, like we're doing right now, it's just not going to happen. Like, this is just, it, it's just not going to happen. Like, look at this. Look how long it's actually taking us to not only just gather the ice that we need for the saw in the first place, but in order to actually, like, summon this guy, it's, uh, pretty crazy, dude. Like, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. And we've got, like, the best tools that we can outside of the pay-to-win backpack, and it's still going this slow. So that's, that's kind of saying something about it, right? Can you sell to the Ice Mage? There you go. I want to fight that idiot again, dude. That was actually a pretty fun boss fight. He actually had, you know, a strategy, which was nice because there's not really that many boss fights that have strategies in Roblox games, right? Your sword looks like the Star Wars lightsaber. That's exactly what it is, dude. I mean, Roblox has had lightsabers for a million years, and now they actually added a pay-to-win one in this game where we can just use it to cut down the ice, which... I mean, obviously makes sense. It's a lightsaber. I don't know why he holds it at his uh, hip like that, though. That's really, really weird. But I guess who cares, right? Because it looks cool, and that's the important thing. Um, what? When you do the turn thing on the speed me meter, makes you levitate for a second. Yeah, I know. I know when we're turning, we actually levitate. It's really, really weird. That's just kind of how the vehicles work in this. I don't know why. Um, 
Not friending fans? Wow, okay. I mean, I don't know why you don't seem to understand. Oh, I, that's right, because you're not popular. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was really mean. I meant that as a joke. But no, uh, I can't friend any fans because the friends list in Roblox only goes up to 200 people, right? And as people end up friending me, I keep on periodically having to go through that list and start deleting people because people just quit Roblox uh, right away or they stick around for a while. It kind of depends, right? And it's a lot of work for me to go through every individual profile one at a time over and over, unfriending people so that I have more room for more fans to add me. So you can't just follow me. I don't know why people think that it's any different because if you actually follow a robux account you can see what games i'm in and i have it set on my profile so you can actually join me uh in a game right yeah i figured you'd like that joke Mark. Yeah, i know that was kind of mean <laughs> no i like it i know i'm kind of cheeky like that which is why i might not be the best as far as family friendly content because I i'm kind of a jerk sometimes I, I fully acknowledge that because it's my sense of humor. Um, I, I still approve of my own uh, self, and uh, that's the most important thing of all, right? Believe in yourself. That's old. Nobody understands what that reference is anymore outside of old fans. I'm going to get Roblox. Do it, dude. It's absolutely free. Why wouldn't you already have Robux? I, I love how Robux tries to get, like, so many people try to hate on Roblox, and it's like, why? Roblox is one of those, like, amazing free-to-play games that's like so dank so unintentionally dank that it's awesome like it's broken the physics are amazing because you fly out of the map in most games let alone like the most popular game jailbreak where you try to rob the train you can't it throws you out of the map not because well i mean i guess it is because the code is so bad but also because we're talking about robux here dude like it just <laughs> it doesn't work you know I don't know why. Oh, man. What's going on with that guy's vehicle? That's scaring me, dude. Like, seriously. Um, do you know DeWay? Yeah, I think we do. I think we slowly are starting to understand DeWay. To, we got to go. I, I always say it wrong. Uh, everybody else always is like, uh, you know, trying to do like a Ugandan accent. When I first read the meme, like, about DeWay uh, and saw people actually saying that, I thought it was funnier because I thought it was just broken English. I didn't know that it was supposed to be like, um, you know, like where it's like, you do not know the way instead of where I heard it, where it's like, you don't know the way. And it was just like so stupid the way that I read it. I like my way better. I'm sorry to say what I still love that part in the video where you randomly teleport out of the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merck's actually got a video of us uh, trying to rob the train in uh, jailbreak. I haven't had uh, a jailbreak video in quite some time. Sorry to say I'm hoping to actually either do. Well, potentially we could end up doing a live stream of Jailbreak. That would actually be a lot of fun. Maybe maybe we'll do that uh, uh, either later in the week or maybe next week. I'll end up trying to see if I can actually set up a uh, private server, a VIP server, so that we can all end up playing together. I think that would be really, really cool. But I'm expecting it's going to be quite expensive, and I'm not really like a king when it comes to getting Robux. Um, all the more reason that I need... Uh, I need people to actually don't uh, you know use my store and donate me Robux because I'm broke as far as Robux is concerned, <laughs> especially because I'm like so pay to win in this game. Like seriously, I should be spending my money and time doing better things. Ooh, we got Blizzard. Good. That means that the ice is going to end up growing back real fast. Why is this guy trying to mine the same ones that I'm mining? It's not going to help. Like really, you're you're not helping me mine this or anything like that, dude. This is where it would be better to actually have that better backpack, dude. Just because of the simple fact that we would be gathering the ice that much faster, um, because we would be able to just stand at it instead of oh, we got to go all the way back to the wizard, sell the ice, which we're about to get the boss by the way. Seems like he spawns every seven thousand. That's pretty cool. It might it might be that he actually spawns every seven thousand ice couples. Uh, but yeah, like this, where we're actually getting the um, ice as it's regenerating. The visual effects of the ice actually like melting down is really good as far as uh, Roblox is concerned, dude. Like I like it. That's that's really neat. They don't really have stuff like that in Roblox where like the snow area kind of makes sense where it's just like one layer after another. But this where this ice is actually changing into different character models as we're mining it, you know, or maybe it's just flattening down on the ground. But either way, like it's 
It's pretty cool. I like it. So anyways, uh, are we going to end up actually having enough to summon the boss or is it straight up 7,000 ice a piece? Let's take a peek. There we go. We got him. Okay. He's jumping into the air. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's like, booga, 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 booga. okay. So he's got uh, 3,000 health. Is that going to, oh my gosh. I got to watch out for those attacks. I got to get this thing off of my screen. Whoa. Watch out for that, dude. Why is my character constantly getting hurt? Like, yeah. No, you don't. Your weird ice attacks will not avail you, giant Donkey Kong idiot. Ah, we gotta run for it. Everybody kill it. I can't even do damage to him because he's constantly like icing the area and aggroing towards me like a jerk face. Ah, what the? He actually threw a giant ice ball at us. That was really strange. What the? Oh, he's doing it again. Okay, so that means we can cause more damage to him, cause more damage to him, cause more damage to him. You're going down, Buster. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's being like really, really strange right now. Ah, no, it always hurts me. Even though I'm like completely out of the way, uh, out of D way, I should say, he still just keeps on attacking us with that ability. And I don't want to die while we're fighting him. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, so long as we have our sprinting stamina, then we seem to be oh, almost able to get out of the area. It seems like it's just passive damage. Stop it. You stupid ice giant, stop spamming the same ability over and over. I gotta be like ready to leave as soon as, okay, we gotta start moving as soon as he starts his attack animation. That's what's going on. So we can only attack him like a little bit. We got damage from that? Are you kidding me? How did he end up hurting me there? That was so weird. Can we end up defeating him just in the nick of time? Ah, uh, don't tag me. He almost killed me. He killed our friend. He killed our friend. He's still attacking our friend's body. What's going on? This guy is such a freak. I'm going to defeat you now. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's spinning around. He's spinning around. Ow. He hurt me again. Oh, he's like almost dead. Okay. Die, stupid. Uh, no. Die, I said, stupid. No, seriously, die, melt into the ground. I love you. Okay, that's kind of a weird thing to say. We got 13,000 monies that time. Yikes, that was still pretty cool, dude. We got ice from actually fighting him too. Really? From doing attacks on him? Did we hit him a hundred times? Is that what I was trying to say or something? I don't know. <laughs> well, anyways, let's sell the ice to this freak again. Now we've got that 7,000 that we needed. We can go and take that ramp. Where's the ramp? There we go. Uh, and then we got to go get 70,000 money. Go get ourselves the saw. We... Oh! We landed it just fine. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but it did. All right, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Uh, where's the saw? Machete. There we go. 70,000. So that's not going to be too big of a problem. Hey, wait a minute. How did you do that? How did he close the door? We're stuck in here now. Why is there physics on the door? Why is there actually physics on the door? Oh, it said open door. It was actually like a command. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second we were legit stuck. That was really scary. Woo! All right, let's get out of here. Let's start uh, getting our money back up, which we only need. Oh, we don't even need that much at all, dude. We're uh, really, really close, which come to think of it, we should probably just spawn this bad boy. And we'll be able to get, oh, never mind. I was going to say we'll be able to get our Robux up real, real quick, but not necessarily because, uh, <laughs> excuse me? What happened here? Oh, boy. Okay, good. We can just respawn it. <laughs> what happened? That was really weird. It flipped upside down, I guess, because it spawned on top of our other vehicle. But yeah, uh, we wouldn't have been able to gather 20,000 Robux fat or uh, monies. I mean, not Robux fast enough uh, off of just using our other vehicle later, Mikey. Have a good one, dude. So we'll probably just be able to do like we'll, we'll be able to do just one run with this and then we'll be able to buy that saw and see what that's going to end up doing for us. Is it going to end up being more efficient as far as ice is concerned or not? Uh, I'm kind of expecting not just because of the amount of time that it's going to end up taking. Maybe that's where the whole pay to win thing where it's like you could teleport to the top of the mountain would end up being more efficient for run him down would end up being more efficient because of the fact that we would be able to teleport to the top grab ourselves a nice block, run down to the bottom, sell it, and there you go. Actually, we don't need to sell it all the way at the bottom, come to think of it. We gotta go sell it at that other dude who's like on the uh, mountain at that cabin. 
that lone loser where he's like, I don't have any friends. I want to I wanna be able to do this. What the? Oh, Jub Jub, what are you doing, sweetheart? She's making weird noises. It scared me. I guess she just woke up. Okay, let's spawn this other snowmobile right here. Everybody keeps trying to take these different colored snowmobiles now. They're trying to copy my green one. Don't, don't you copy my green one. It makes it confusing for me going into the new area. I don't know which one is mine. All right, let's go check this out. Collect 25 ice cubes from the lake, which is pretty ridiculous, actually. Like, 25 ice cubes from the lake. What am I thinking? Here we go again, where I'm not even gathering the saw. Like, geez louise. All right, so this is going to be the last thing that we're going to end up doing, Reapers, is we're just going to end up getting this saw and seeing what exactly, like, what is this going to end up doing for us? Is it going to end up being good? Not enough money or ice. Uh, yes, we do have a lot of money and ice, actually. We uh, already got it, so I don't know what it's talking about. Um, Scythe, you ran me over. How could you? Um, you got in the way. I live in Canada. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is right now. It's just Canada Simulator and Roblox. That's why, maybe that's why I'm so addicted to it, because it just reminds me of home, right? <laughs> I don't know. What was that weird noise? Stop that, Jub Jub. No, seriously. She's going crazy now, dudes. I, I don't know if that means I gotta take her out or anything. Uh, usually she ends up getting a little frisky when she's gotta go to the washroom, which means it's kind of getting around that perfect time for the stream because we're gonna get ourselves a couple ice cubes, see what that's about, and uh, then we'll call it, right? Because uh, that's all I'm curious about. What? Spend zero Robux on Roblox merch. No, buy my merch for like a million Robux or something, right? Buy, buy the same shirt over and over and just keep deleting it out of your inventory so that you can buy it again and give me more Robux so that we can actually uh, earn our currency back from whatever it is that I ended up buying in this game alone. Okay, so let's see. How's this going to end up working? What the? Whoa! Custom animation and everything. That's not how a saw works at all. You don't attack like that. You're actually supposed to, you know, saw it. Like, <laughs> that's so weird. Why isn't he sawing it properly? This takes so long. This takes so long. Okay, uh, you'd gather. What happened? I'm stuck inside it. Oh, never mind. Uh, you gather an ice cube, attach a rope to your cube, and drag it to Larry. He lives along the ice path near the tunnel. Where did it go? Where did it go? No, really, where did that ice cube go, dude? That was so weird, and I'm pretty confident that it actually just slid off of the map. That's kind of stupid. Like, oh, there it is, way over there. Okay, that's weird. Really, really weird. So how do we actually attach a rope to it? Tie rope to snowmobile. There we go. That's not how you tie a rope. That's how you dance. Uh, but sure, whatever. Untie the rope? I don't think so. Let's do this. Whoa, we actually got weird physics driving. We got to be very careful. We don't want that block to end up falling off of the map. This kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. Okay, where is that dude, by the way? Like, you know that there's a quick and easy way that we can en just end up going down to him. Whoa, that was a close one. That was a real close one. We almost ended up losing that off the ledge. Okay, uh, is this going to be where it is? Is this going to be where he is? Is he over here? No, he's not over there. So is he over on this side? No, seriously, like, where is this freak? Whoa, okay. Can I pull it back up? No, we cannot. Okay, well, anyways, uh, I think I'm stuck. I think, uh, 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 okay, we did it. <laughs> we did it somehow. Yay. Let's see what this idiot wants. How many ice cubes can you actually attach to your vehicle? Very interesting that it actually has physics, by the way. Like, seriously. Uh, you don't really see that very often in Roblox games, let alone, like, how well the physics operate. Like, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with that. Okay, stupid. I got your, I got your ice cube. Sell to this guy. Okay, we got 400 ice from that. Not bad. And what was that? Like 4,000 money? Did he end up getting more to his pile? Because otherwise, that's absolutely useless. Like, <laughs> no, that's really, like, useless. One cube at a time? That can't be true, though, Stratus, because I saw somebody dragging two at a time. Maybe that's a pay-to-win thing? But, uh, really, that's, like, are you kidding me? That was not worth it at all. So, would completing an ice quest give us more ice or just money? You know what I mean? Stop it, Jub Jub, seriously. Yeah, see, look at that guy. He's got two right there, Stratus. Disproved. Disproved right there. I don't know if he's got, like, some pay-to-win thing, but we're gonna see and try it out, see if we can actually end up doing that. Um, 
I don't know how he's doing that, but I guess we'll do two at once. But otherwise, honestly speaking, uh, Reapers, this is uh, this is pretty useless. How do we actually? There we go. This is useless. Like we can end up getting more ice by just going around and you know putting it in our backpack. Like we get 500 a pop, and we get it a lot faster than us driving all the way down the mountain like a freak. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Whoa, geez, where does it? Oh, it always goes to the same spot. Okay. Uh, he lives along the ice path near the tunnel. Okay, well, anyways, let's see if we can end up uh, going for another one right here. Maybe you can do, like, maybe it's going to be more worth it if you can end up doing more than two at once. But otherwise, I can't believe how bad that is. Like, that was so slow or something. Um... Oh, Stratus says he tried that, but it removed the other one. So maybe it's got to do with, like, standing beside both of them at the same time and getting them attached. Uh, because I'm assuming it's just got to do with the rope itself. Like, you know, it's like when you're already dragging one, you can't drag another because it's going to unequip one and to equip the other. So maybe you got to grab them both at the same time or something. I don't know. What? Uh, not how you saw it. Yeah, I know. I, it's really weird. Like... I don't know why he's doing it like that. Okay, well, anyways, that's three ice cubes right there. Let's see if that's going to end up working. Let's see if that's going to end up working. I don't think other players can... Okay. I don't think other players can steal these from you. That would be really weird if they could. Tie rope. Okay. Do, 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 do. That's my dance. What is with that hut? Uh, untie rope. No, I don't want to untie the rope. I want to get it far enough away from me so that we can just... Can we tie the rope? Or can we jump off and then get back on? Tie rope? Is that doing it? What's going on? Oh, yeah, there we go. We got two. Or we had two for a split second. Oh, okay. So maybe it's a weird glitch. Because we had two of them for a split second. So maybe it's like... Uh, wait, what was that? Tie rope to snowmobile. Okay, so maybe we can just go right into it. No, I see. It is just deattaching. How did that guy do two at once then? Tie one to your body and then one to your vehicle. Ah, really? No, nope, because we're... We can't actually do that. Untie rope. What is it talking about? Okay. Uh, how did that guy do two at once, dude? I don't know. I don't know. I think he's like a hacker, cheater or something. Let's watch him. Here he goes. Here he goes. Let's Let's take a peek and see what he ends up doing. Um, yeah, so maybe he is straight up, like, no, he's, like, grabbing it and bringing it to his vehicle, and then it's attaching it to his character or something. Hey, DevAxis, thanks for donating five bucks, dude. That's absolutely awesome of you. Uh, I wish you could join, but the game is most likely going to end up being full. I don't know how this freak is actually tying more than one at a time. Yeah, he is tying it to his character. You're right about that. So, hmm. Okay. So we got one tied to our snowmobile. Oh, I see. There we go. We had to go far enough away that we could just tie it to our character. That's what's going on. Okay, okay. So your tip was right about tying one to our character and then one to the snowmobile. All right, awesome. Oh, gosh. It's like the physics are actually like physics where it's a lot worse. <laughs> um, we got to be very careful here, not to mention my camera is freaking out. No! <laughs> No! Where are we? It pulled me off the cliff. I was hitting the brakes, but it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're close to uh, that dude, right? Oh, gosh. Bringing these up a cliff is even difficult. Like, seriously. So, you gotta be real careful with this, then. Like, you gotta be so careful. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. So, I guess if you bring two at once, it's kind of worth it, but I don't know. Not really. Like, it's kind of it's kind of overpriced and a little bit garbage just because of the fact that it takes so long to actually do this efficiency, uh, efficiently. There, sell the ice 407. Sell more ice for... Okay, so that was like 800 right then and there. Again, it's still not worth it, though. Like, it's just much easier and more cost-effective time-wise for us to just grind the ice ourselves uh, in our backpack. And, and again, it's like, especially if you're pay to win. Well, I guess that's the thing. If you're pay to win. Because if we didn't have the lightsaber, then yeah, that probably wouldn't actually be worthwhile, right? Like, 
I, I think that's I think that's safe to say is that if we didn't end up actually having the lightsaber, it probably wouldn't be worth it. Okay, so let's take one last peek at the store here. We got all these other backpacks, uh, the huge ice pack, which is the one that we've got, and then we could buy this Robux one. We've defeated the boss. We need to defeat him a hundred times. It doesn't seem to show a counter of how many times you've defeated him, unfortunately. Oh, and you can't actually color your back. Pack. I didn't even know that, honestly. Okay, well, uh, let's just put uh, that one on our character, I guess. Yeah, I didn't even know that you could color that thing. Like, seriously. Can we color the um, lightsaber, though? That's what I want to do. Because that would be... Nope, it doesn't seem like we can actually color any of these weapons or anything. Well, in any case... Uh, wait, what's this? Maybe that's Ice Boss Kills 2. Okay, so it is uh, keeping track of it. How do we actually close this door? I wanted to lock him out. Okay, you go ahead, push the... There we go. There we go. Now he's going to try and get in, and we can just block him out. <laughs> you can be such a jerk in this game now that there's actually physics on the door. You can't get in. You can't get in. <laughs> That's all I would end up doing on a VIP server, man. So don't give me a VIP server, because all I would do is just be a jerk and lock people out of the house. Like, seriously. Uh, but anyways, Reapers, I think that's all the time we're going to spend doing this today. We pretty much ended up getting... I, I guess we pretty much got all the new content done, actually. Um, outside of the fact that... No, I was the one blocking you, Ninja. Um, we, we pretty much only have to grind the boss over and over in order to actually get the backpack. But honestly speaking, despite the fact that this area is cool, um, a little bit too much time is going into managing, uh, like, just the ice and everything like that it's not really as addictive as the snow shoveling honestly speaking like the snow shoveling is just straight up you're in an area you're lazily holding up and just one direction and that's it whereas um all of the other stuff like this ice area you see we gotta go around and actually like waste our time like navigating and it's not necessarily the laziest uh thing that you could end up doing like it's just i don't know there we go there we go why are my hands red no, seriously, why are my hands red? Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate you coming out. Hope that you ended up enjoying this live stream. Uh, it's going to show up on the channel in a couple days. Can't say exactly when, but I'm not going to end up streaming as often as I was doing. I wish that I could. Unfortunately, I can't just because I've got to prioritize doing just normal YouTube videos and stuff like that now that the holidays are over. I got to catch up to my own content. And live streaming, most of all, was just because it was very convenient, right? But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I would very much appreciate it. if you would have Duke in the like button. It also ends up uh, helping with the loyalty and the merch store and stuff like that. Check links in the description for my real life merch store. There's also going to be my Roblox merch store and stuff. And then for the fans that want to go the extra mile, you can actually donate to me for absolutely free with Gawkbox. Check links in the description about that as well. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I got to wait for the stream to catch up so that I can end the stream. So people on Twitch, you'll get to see all this stuff, but YouTube won't because YouTube's like super delayed.